Ever since the beginning of last year, the Missouri State Baseball Bears have been one of the top offensive teams in the Missouri Valley Conference. That prowess at the plate helped the Bears reach last year's national tournament. As Jacob Sersosimo shows us, MSU studies plenty of data behind the scenes and turns those numbers into crooked numbers on the scoreboard. Things look different in Mason Hole's senior season than they did when he first became a Bear. It has definitely changed a lot in my five years here. Some of those changes have helped Hole, who hit 15 home runs a year ago. My first few years here, we didn't have a lot of the stuff that we have now. What kind of stuff? Yeah, we got all the toys here. And by toys, assistant coach Joey Hawkins means... Stadium track man, portable track man, uh, the eye pitch pitching machine. Blast motion, swing analyzer, uplift biomechanics, which is for both hitting and pitching. Missouri State was the first college program to work with uplift labs, giving the Bears a detailed look at what happens on every swing and every pitch. Just gives us something that our eyes can't see at the at how fast like a ball is thrown or hit. Yeah, like I mean, it's anything in terms of like how fast their limbs are moving, um, how they load and unload, how explosive they are. If my pitches start moving differently, it's it's easy to look at that and just be able to correct it. Joey, now we're looking at the track man. What exactly are we looking at here? The the big thing for our hitters here is just getting a visual feedback of every ball that they have. So it starts with just a basic spray chart, and then how hard it is down here with the exit velocity, so how high it was, and then just the direction and distance on the field. As we collect data for our players, it's important to get a lot of data points so you can have averages. They also have blast motion, which monitors um, all our hitters' swings and their swing path, their bat speed, stuff like that, and a special pitching machine. Basically, it can throw any pitch at any time to our hitters, and it can match the the opposing pitcher that we're about to face as well. And clearly, it works. If you look at our numbers from the past two years, you can really see a bit, a drastic change. The Bears have hit 140 home runs since the start of last season with a batting average of over 280. You know, this is a player-driven program, so if you're not doing everything you can to make those players better, you're, you're, you're not really holding your word. Now, with all this technology and information, it seems easy to overcomplicate things. But Joey Hawkins tells me as a coaching staff, they like to keep things simple when relaying this information to players so those players can become more successful. And as a program, the Bears can win more games. At Hammonds Field, I'm Jacob Sersosimo for KY3 Sports. Jacob, thank wow. you very much. Uh, that pitching machine was donated by former Bear and current big leaguer Jake Berger. So ah, giving back to the program. Cool. And uh, Joey Hawkins told Jacob that the Bears have just about everything that MLB teams have. Wow. in terms of data so wow. they've got access to just about everything